Hello, God bless you. Welcome. My name is Stephen. I'm pastor of Graffiti Fellowship Church in Brooklyn, New York, and it is time for today's daily devotion. Our daily devotion series is where we read a chapter of the Bible together as a single video. We post them five days a week. You can access them at any time, of course. And uh, we're currently reading through the Gospel of John. So in uh, the playlist that contains this video, you'll find a, a separate video for every chapter of the Gospel of John. And today we're reading John chapter 17. So there's 16 videos before this one. There will be, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four videos after this one. Uh, and that'll be the entire book of John. So every chapter of John will be read in one of these videos. We've got a playlist for Matthew, got a playlist for uh, Mark, got a playlist for Luke. And, uh, and we're going to keep going because we know it's important and helpful to include some of God's Word in our day. And this is a tool that seems to be helping some folks with that. In John chapter 17, uh, another short chapter. So the, this, this farewell discourse of Jesus... These parting words he's giving his disciples as uh, they spend their last time together before his arrest and crucifixion. Uh, each of these chapters has been fairly brief, <clears throat> and this one's no exception. 26 chapters, uh, excuse me, 26 verses in this chapter. And this entire chapter is just one section titled The Prayer of Jesus. Jesus has just finished explaining to his disciples again, that he's going to be taken from them, but he's going to send the Advocate, his Holy Spirit, to come and empower them. So uh, let's read now John chapter 17 together, beginning in verse 1. It says, After saying all these things, Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son so he can give glory back to you, for you've given him authority over everyone. He gives eternal life to each one you have given Him. And this is the way to have eternal life, to know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, the one you sent to earth. I brought glory to you here on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. And now, Father, bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. I have revealed you to the ones you gave me from this world. They were always yours. You gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know everything that I have is a gift from you, for I have passed on to them the message you gave me. They accepted it, and they know I came from you, and they believe you sent me. My prayer is not for the world, but for those you have given me, because they belong to you. All who are mine belong to you, and you have given them to me, so they bring me glory. Now I am departing from the world. They are staying in this world, but I am coming to you. Holy Father, you've given me your name. Now protect them by the power of your name so that we will be united just as we are. During my time here, I protected them by the power of the name you gave me. I guarded them so that not one was lost except the one headed for destruction, as the scriptures foretold. Now I'm coming to you. I told them many things while I was with them in this world so they would be filled with my joy. I have given them your word, and the world hates them because they do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. I'm not asking you to take them out of the world, but to keep them safe from the evil one. They do not belong to this world any more than I do. Make them holy by your truth. Teach them your word, which is truth. Just as you sent me into the world, I am sending them into the world. And now I give myself as a holy sacrifice for them so they can be made holy by your truth. I'm praying not only for these disciples, but also for all who, are, who will ever believe in me through their message. I pray that they will all be one, just as you and I are one, as you are in me, Father, and I am in you. And may they be in us, so that the world will believe that you sent me. For I've given them the glory you gave me, so that they, will, they may be uh, one, as we are one. I am in them, and you are in me. May they experience such perfect unity that the world will know that you sent me and that you love them as much as you love me. Father, I want those whom you have given me to be with me where I am. Then they can all see the glory you gave me because you loved me even before the world began. O oh, righteous Father, the world doesn't know you, but I do. And these disciples know you sent me. I have revealed you to them, and I will continue to do so then your love for me will be in them, and I will be in them. That concludes John chapter 17. Thank you so much for participating in today's daily devotion. I hope you've been blessed by this chapter. 
If you know someone else who might also be blessed, please feel free to share this with them. Hope you'll join us again next time for John chapter 18. God bless you.